the first thing Samantha does when she gets this document is looks to see what comments were made. So she turns on the comments. She decides she wants to delete Jack's comments. Delete all comments by Jack. And we notice now they did not disappear. They only have a big X over them. That's because we're recording the changes. I guess now is a good time to mention that when we turned on the record changes, it doesn't actually record the changes. It records the suggested changes. To show how this works, let's go into Edit, Changes, Accept or Reject. So now we see all the suggested changes that we can either accept or reject. And we can accept all or reject all. We also have this filter. With the filter, we can list only by the authors. Let's say that we want to have only Jack and their action. We have insert, delete, formats. We can say let's list all the deletions by Jack. We come back here and we see that there's only one. Going back into filters, we also have this comment. I, I should mention that right now. Because right here we have a, a line of comments, but nothing's there because I did not add in a comment yet. Let's do that right now. We go to Edit, Changes, Comment. It's grayed out because we are not on any of our changes. Let's put the cursor on this deletion by Jack. So we see that the author is Jack for this comment. We also have this arrow. The arrow takes us to the previous change. So we can arrow through to the change that we want and then put in, this is my comment. And we've added this to the lines of text that Jack deleted. Going to click OK. Now when we go into changes, accept or reject. We can see that I just added the comment here. This is my comment. So that's how comments show up. And you can filter on comments as well. So let's go through and accept them. In fact, I'm just going to accept all. I'm even going to delete out these two, delete all comments. Because I'm still recording changes, now I have to go into edit, changes, accept or reject. I want to accept all. And now my comments are gone, everything's updated, and I'm going to save this as version 2.0. Now we want to compare our 2.0 document to our 1.0 document. To do that, we've opened up our version 2.0. We're going into Edit, Compare Document, and we're picking out our version 1.0. And it's asking us if we want to make it look the same by deleting out that second paragraph. It does not recognize that we italicized the website name in that first sentence, but it did pick up the text that was deleted.